Hello everybody, I'm Bob Berry. Today we are going to talk about overloading. Overloading occurs when a crane attempts to lift a load greater than its capacity. Recently, a 300-foot crane collapsed, trapping three workers and injuring seven others. The crane operator attempted to lift a load more than double the weight capacity of the crane. There are several factors that contribute to an overloading accident. With proper planning, these factors can be avoided. First, make sure you program the correct information into the LMI. The LMI gives the crane operator a continuous readout of the boom length, boom angle, and the radius, but not usually an actual load weight. However, the LMI is only as good as the operator and the information he has provided. Never perform a lift without accurate information regarding the weight of the load. Make sure the information provided by the lift director is accurate. For example, when lifting a tank, make sure the tank's weight includes any liquid still in the tank. A small mistake on paper could be a big mistake in the field. Finally, make sure you use the correct amount of counterweights. Too few counterweights can cause a crane to topple. Even a light load can topple a crane if used at a long distance. These accidents usually happen at the end of the day and even an experienced operator can underestimate the counterweights needed. Here are a few final safety tips to ensure a safe lift. One, use load charts to confirm correct crane configuration for load site and lift conditions. Two, double check calculations including load and rigging weights and net capacity. Three, Make sure the load is properly rigged and balanced. Remember, thorough calculations, the correct equipment, and good communication between crew members always makes for a safe lift. Thanks for watching and look for our next Sims Crane Minute coming soon.